Hello, my pre-calculus peeps. This is Sean Alexander with another video for you, this time on trig identities, because my tutoring team of awesomeness tells me that's what you're working on right now. So um, I'm going to do this in multiple parts because it's so super important. If you haven't seen my video on the unit circle, that's the most important pre-calc video out there. So please give that a re-watch um, before this one, ideally. But these are all things sine, cosine, and tangent. So we've all seen the functions sine, theta, cosine, theta, tangent, theta. And now you've probably seen uh, what we call the inverse functions. So there's this thing called the um, cosecant, which is equal to 1 divided by the sine of theta, or the inverse. Why does cosecant go with si 1 over sine? I will never know for sure. It's, it's a very obnoxious naming because you'd think that sine goes with secant, but it doesn't. Sine goes with cosecant. And then the inverse of cosine, they call the secant. Again, very confusing nomenclature. I've never known the reason for this. But it's equal to the inverse of the cosine theta. And then just to make matters worse, the tangent is what you think it would be, the cotangent. Theta. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to say that out loud uh, one more time. Cosecant goes with sine, nobody knows why. It's equal to 1 over sine. Secant goes with cosine, no one knows why. Secant theta equals 1 over cosine theta. Cotangent theta is what you think it would be, 1 over tangent theta. Okay, so what you're probably seeing now are things like prove the following identity, and I'll, I'll give you a simple example to start. What if you saw something like sine x uh, let's use theta. Let's see right here. Sine theta uh, times the secant theta equals tan. Okay, so we're trying to prove stuff like this. And here's how you do these kind of trig proofs, and I'm going to do another video on this. The first thing you always want to do is try and write your cosecant, secant, and cotangents in terms of sine, cosine, and tangent. So let's just see what happens. Secant theta is equal to what? 1 over cosine theta. Does this equal the tangent of theta? So we get, if we think of this as two fractions, we get sine. is equal to the tangent of theta by definition. You probably should have seen this. So that identity is true. So the first rule in uh, doing these kind of uh, trig equation proofs is you always want to, tra if you see cosecant, secant, or cotangent, you want to switch that to, to sines and cosines using their, their equivalent reciprocal. Okay, let's try another one. What if we had one over sine theta cotangent theta equals 1 over cosine theta. Is this true? Okay, so what's the rule I just told you? Anytime we see a secant, cosecant, or cotangent, we want to change it to 1 over sine, 1 over cosine, 1 over tangent, etc. So I see a cotangent on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do is turn that cotangent into what it really is, which is 1 over tangent, okay? Does that equal 1 over cosine theta? I don't know. Let's take this up over here. Okay, I'm going to, uh, on the left-hand side, I'm going to combine those fractions. Uh, so if we think of this as sine theta over 1, we can combine those fractions to d 
does that equal uh, over? Oh, I don't know yet. Now, another rule we're going to use is whenever we see a tangent, we're going to use this guy, a very important ID. The definition of tangent is actually the sine over the cosine. Um, so let's plug that in for this tangent right here. So we're going to have a, we need to be good at fractions. So we're going to get 1 over sine theta divided by Okay, so we, we, I hope you're good with fractions. We see a lot of fraction action going on here. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to turn the top of the fraction into 1 over 1. So that 1 on top into 1 over 1. And on the bottom, we're dividing fractions. So the way I'm going to write this is sine theta over 1. That's the numerator. And when you're dividing by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So we go times, we flip that bottom guy to cosine theta over sine theta okay and check out what's happening here cancel cancel um, and we get the top we can use 1 over 1 is 1 so we get 1 over cosine theta boom nailed it okay so the moral of the story the first rule in, in, in doing these kind of prove, proving trig equations, uh, showing one side is equal to the other, is you anytime you see a cosecant, secant, or cotangent, you want to change it to 1 over sine, 1 over cosine, and 1 over tangent, and simplify as much as possible. Also, a lot of times, if you see a tangent theta, you want to change that to what it really is, which is sine theta over cosine theta. By the way, really quick before I let you go, why is tangent theta equal to sine theta over cosine theta? Uh, as you know, at Alexander Tutoring, it's not enough to just memorize the rule. i got to prove it to you. So sine theta real quick by definition as you recall going back to geometry is the opposite side just going to your Sokotoa is the opposite side of a triangle over the hypotenuse and cosine theta is the adjacent side this is the actual definitions of these functions over the hypotenuse and tangent theta is equal to the opposite side of the triangle divided by adjacent side, TOA. Okay, so let's see what we get when we do sine theta over equals. Okay, well, if that's the opposite over the hypotenuse is the sine, right? Divided by the cosine is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, we're dividing fractions, so what do we do? We multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. I'm going to flip this guy over to get hypotenuse over adjacent. And check it out. Hypotenuse is cancel, and we're left with opposite over adjacent, which is what the tangent function is. So sine theta divided by cosine theta is the tangent theta. That's your most important trig identity. These are the most important trig identities. Um, I hope that helped. I'm going to make a follow-up video to this next time, and that'll be on the, uh, the next set of trig identities. Okay, I really hope this helps. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Have a great one. Bye.